Good morning, guys, and welcome to another review from me, Matt, Peter Berserker. Do apologise, not giving it the full... Um, I've been, as my Instagram post said earlier, I've been pretty ill recently. Um, not particularly great at all, some sort of coldy, fluey thing. Touch wood, luckily, it's not coronavirus. It's a top it all. I then had a uh, baguette, really sharp bit on there, cut the back of my throat open. And so I've had literally a few hours sleep over the past couple of days. And so it's just like, oh, one thing after another at the moment and pills and potions and sprays and everything else. But I'm trying to catch up on my reviews. I hope you guys are keeping well wherever you are around the world, whatever you've been getting up to and whatever you're doing. I do apologise, like I say, if you need to turn your volume up on this. I'm not going to overdo it because... My throat's starting to get better, even though I've got a locket stuck in my gob at the moment. Um, but thank you guys for all the support that I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt, here on my Bit of the Girl YouTube channel, where I'm trying my hardest to try and help promote, support, advertise, and show you guys that there are some small brands and individuals out there that are creating some amazing stuff, whatever it might be. Beard products, skin products, leather work, all sorts of bits and pieces. And I love small brands and these small crafts. They have a passion in life for creating and making stuff. And I'm not too keen on these huge, massive faceless brands that sort of just churn their stuff out and everything. So I'm trying to do what I can to help promote them. Just hit uh, 24,000 views on here on my YouTube channel, which is not bad considering it's just me, some old git with his iPad in front of him, recording videos and uploading them. Now, with all the reviews that I do on my channel, stuff that I go out and buy myself, stuff that gets sent through, all of my reviews always have been, always will be completely honest. Everything I do is in my own opinion, and I'm completely unbiased. Links will be down below in that very description box. Glug of coffee, please bear with me. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that hurts to swallow. So... Today's review has been very, very kindly sent through from Gus uh, from Devilishly Bearded, based here in the UK. And it wasn't so much a review, he just sent th through something for me as thanks. Um, because I do like the stuff that Devilishly Bearded do. They do clothing and they also do men's grooming beard products as well. And uh, attached to what we're going to be looking at, um, there's the card, like I say, links will be down below. Cheers for all that you do, mate. Devilishly bearded, Gus. And it's, it's really kind of touching um, that he's taking his time out to send this through for me to have a look at and thought that I might like it. The design uh, on the T-shirt is not available. This wasn't really down as a review, but I said I'd review it anyway. You were kind enough to send it through. So the least I can do is do a review. So he's done the design for myself. But if there is demand for it, he will put it up on the website as a design. And he has sent through a t-shirt and turn it around. I've been wearing it over the past few days. <coughs> Viking! Uh, Nordic written on the bottom. Absolutely stunning because when I buy t-shirts and stuff like that, I like to have the design on the front because I often wear an open shirt or I wear a jacket, especially living nearby the coast. We get very few days when you're out in t-shirts or you put an hoodie over the top of it or whatever. So I do like it with the design on the front because more often than not, the smaller designs are kind of on the chest. The main design's on the back, which you hardly ever see, apart from those three days a year where you can actually go out wearing a t-shirt. Really cool design. As with all t-shirts and clothing that I do review, in order to simulate a bit of wear and tear, um, which is kind of good because there's nothing worse than going out and buying some clothing. You get it home, design's perfect and everything. You stick it in the wash, the design starts peeling off. The t-shirt quality is not particularly great. It starts fraying and all the seams and hem and everything start unraveling. So I, I put it on three separate washers not obviously on its own because that's just pointless and a waste of time so in with other clothes I wash it dry it, wash it dry it, wash it dry it, wear it and so it gives me a bit of an idea on where the tear and how long it's going to last um this one i think is 100 percent cotton it feels like 100 percent cotton there is a tag in here 
um, SGT Textiles Vertulen, whatever that means. Um, there are care instructions in there. Wash it in a bowl at 40 degrees, don't put it near a triangle with an X through it. Always use an iron with a dot on it. Don't take it near a round circle with a cross through it. And keep it near a square with a circle in it. No idea what that means, but there you go. I'm sure this is 100% cotton. I should say on the back somewhere. Uh, yeah, 100% cotton. So, really nice design on it. No signs of peeling or anything like that, because there's nothing worse, like I say. Going out, buying a t-shirt with a really nice design on it, and you get it home, wash it, and it starts peeling off. All tape seams around the neckline on it. I've had no issues with fraying this. I've got dog hairs all over it. That's the joys of having dogs. Um, small size is just right, because I hate going out, buying a t-shirt far too long, end up looking like a maxi dress. And so sometimes I'm a medium, sometimes it's a small. It all kind of depends, but this fits me just right, not too tight or anything. Um, it is seamed on both sides, it's not a tubular one, and it's absolutely stunning and is available should you wish to purchase for 16 quid on the Devilishly Bearded website. Links will be down below. Absolutely brilliant design, it's great, absolutely love it. Was wearing it in the review that I done the other day. Also, on top of that, not necessarily a review, but don't forget, Devilishly Bearded also do beard products as well. Um, I just bought a couple of them out to show you my personal favourites. Um, they do a vanilla fudge um, beard oil. They do eight or nine different scents. Uh, Basilica, Mother's Ruin, um, Lemon Sherbet, the fudge one, Fireball. Um, there's an Amaretto one as well. Really, really nice. Well designed, good quality. The vanilla fudge one I haven't used so much as because that's one of my top beard products that I only use when I go in out somewhere nice. Also, they do the beard or Gus does the beard oils in these little doohickey tins. So rather than if you're going away for the weekend, going on holiday, not that we're going on holiday at the moment with all this lockdown and stuff going off, but it's nice to just sling one of these in, put it on your car key so you've always got some beard oil, and then afterwards you can either put a shot of something in there, clean it out, or you can just retop it up with an oil of your choice. Really good. This is one of the first reviews that I done a couple of years ago. No rust or anything like this. These are stainless steel anyway, but absolutely brilliant. Also, um, they do the balms and moustache waxes too, the Affogato. I forget, oh yeah, uh, Barista Coffee one, which is absolutely, sm smells lovely, and the Vanilla Fudge one as well. All these are available from Devishly Bearded. Never had an issue with them. The scents are top of the range. The description matches them completely, and even more importantly as well, they are CPSR checked, which all products need to be always recommended to do a test batch first. Um, but the customer service with Devishly Bearded is just brilliant, and it's so nice to see someone really cares <coughs> really cares and has a passion about what they're doing and constantly sort of like what do you think of this do you like that which you don't get with these huge massive faceless brands so thank you so so much to Gus for the t-shirt it is absolutely stunning they do loads of other bits and pieces as well so please go check them out links are going to be down below and I think that's about it for me this morning on this little review even though it wasn't a review as such, but it's kind of is, but there you go. Thank you to Gus. Thank you guys for being patient. Um, I'm trying to get the reviews up to date and everything. I've got one, two, three reviews outstanding, which are going to be doing over the next couple of days every morning. So stay tuned for those. If you are a small brand individual out there and you do, do, do need any help, support, promotion or anything, please comment down below. Send us a message over there on Instagram. Viking beard mat, all one word, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's small brand, individual crafts, here to help and do what I can to kind of show you guys out there that there's some really cool stuff being made by individuals and small brands. So I'm going to go and die in the corner and cough my guts up. I hope you guys have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. I know we're still on lockdown, 
joyous, can't wait till it ends to a certain degree. Guaranteed we'll all be back at work and go, oh, we should have made a bit more effort with this lockdown and everything and oh, kind of enjoy it for what it is, spending more time with family. And at least we've now got modern technology that we can FaceTime and whatever it is, families and friends, so you're not just sort of sat there looking at the room. But thank you guys. Keep on taking care wherever you are in the world. Keep on helping, supporting each other, and above all, keep on loving each other. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next review from me, Matt. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.